Hello. Welcome back. Since I enjoyed that voice so much. Um, I'll, I'll just use that, the dialogue again. But yes, welcome back to Game Wolf Plays Quake. We're going to the very final level. Push up, Nagura. <laughs> I really like this voice. I'm going to keep using it when it's appropriate. But, you know, I was just going with, like, a sinister guttural voice, and it just ended up being that. I'm like, wait a minute. So then I went with that. Shub Nagulov awaits you. Uh, check out the Cthulhu Mythos for more details. Alright, so we start with, um, the fish. Alright, the big thing that's gonna be important is you're gonna want to get all your guns. All of them. So make sure you do that. You're gonna need fucking everything. I, I counted how many times I died. It's ten. But this is very quick anyway, so I allowed this to happen. How could you let this happen? Because I, I, you know, I was just kind of brute forcing the solution, it seems. It's kind of what you gotta do. Alright, look, it's even the nightmare portal thingy. Obviously, right? Alright, let's get in there. Da, 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 better save. You know it. That spike ball's going somewhere. Make sure you follow it. Well, just keep an eye out on where it is. It's important. Anyway, now I got everything. First of all, there is a... <laughs> there's a shamble there. There's a shamble here. It's there. It's everywhere. There's vores. There's traps coming out of the walls. You got everything. Ow. I've been exploded. But yeah, that's that's Shub Nagurf in the center. Not as impressive as Shub Nagurf is supposed to look, but with actual Elder Gods as depicted in the story, you would not be able to grasp the true form because that's how it goes. You'd be driven insane just by being able to comprehend some level of it. But just assume it's otherworldly and incredibly dangerous and supposedly apathetic, if not for it trying to fuck with you in particular, where it's just more like, no! Forget about blue and orange morality. Go fuck yourself. Blorange morality, as I call it. Bacons versus bow ties. Which will win? How about the bow tie made of bacon? Yeah, it was me trying to decide what ammo I was going to use. There is one secret in this level, by the way, which has the quad damage in it. You're going to need that to deal with these guys, especially in hard mode, of course. You can probably do without it if you're playing easy. I'm just throwing that out there. So, yeah. Don't worry, there's lots of health laid out for a dumbass like me. Yep. Gotta get healthy. We gotta get healthy. Oh, yeah, so that portal goes to a specific place, and by specific place, it goes to a moving place. By a moving place, I mean it's attached to that spike ball. So, don't go in it, unless, you're knowing, unless you know where it is, in which case, yes. Looks like I've sacrificed myself to the volcano god, way to go me. But yeah, um, that teleport is going to take where the spike ball is. So if it's over the lava, and you go through it, you're going to die, basically. But, when you're ready, watch it closely to see where it goes, because there's a specific point where you have to come out. Um, basically when it goes inside Shub Nagula, we'll just call her Shubby. Getting Shubby with it, dun 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 dun. So yeah, it goes inside Shubby, then you go in it and go Telefragger. That's how it goes, the old mother, etc. You know, extremely pregnant thing. Constantly pregnant. Always pregnant. We don't know how. Certainly a concept, that's for sure. Some say... The man Lovecraft was insane. Well, he kind of was, even for his time. But, <laughs> the nice thing about phobias, and especially paranoia, is that it really helps with creativity. <laughs> if you can keep your act together, that is. But I mean, for writing a good horror story. So, if you're paranoid and you need a career goal, I got one for you. That or... <laughs> Working for the government, which would be ironic and hilarious. Quad damage is wearing off! That's a boy. Yeah, you can see why I went wrong here. 
Not to mention there is yet another one. Jesus Christ, no, that's not my problem. The problem... Oh, okay. I've become bored with life. That's the message you get when you kill yourself. Yeah, look. I don't know about you and suicide, but I don't think I've ever known anyone. Certainly not met anyone. That killed himself out of sheer boredom. It seems like the wrong thought entirely. Like you're not even motivated to do it, and you just do it. It's just like, but why? So, I guess you're doing the gene pool a favor then. Shit. Ah, smashed. Is that really smashing? I got electrocuted, baby. Or maybe the death message doesn't distinguish between projectile and melee attack. You know, that's probably it. And now I'm in shambles. They call me Bojangles the Shambler. Bojangles, Bojangles. I'm a shambler. Ooh. Now I'm hot slag. Slag is like one of those future curse words like shock. By the way, looking forward to Spider-Man 2099 references. I love that series. I love Spider-Man 2099. I decide it's one of my favorite things now. Like, just that incarnation of Spider-Man. I think I just like that art style. And also the the way stories are written. Where it's like, it can be serious, it can be funny, it can be cynical. And, you know, it doesn't, um... Like, yeah, it drops ambles, but it also doesn't, like... It doesn't tiptoe around what it believes are the issues. With not only concepts, but what it's... Characters like that can really be. You know, especially. Well, no, it's it's a it's a good series. Um, the closest we got to got that animation before this new Spider-Man movie. Like, I say new Spider-Man movie, but who knows what's a new Spider-Man movie? It feels like nowadays, from where I'm sitting, there's a new Spider-Man movie all the time. But yeah, uh, before it would have been in, like in the Spider-Man Unlimited cartoon, which I actually really enjoy too. It's just it's kind of weird. Like, it's really weird. But enjoy it. So, yeah. It's mostly because of the art style. It, it, I think the problem was, is that it was competing with Batman Beyond. Which is kind of hard to do. So there you have it. Um, yeah, I went on a tangent, but because that's because I knew there was not much left to see in this level or to explain. You just kind of survive it. You know, you just get a little... You just get a little better each time. You know... Whoa. Yeah, who knew I had to conserve so much damn ammo just to make sure these things died before I could teleport safely into Shubby's ass. Wow, the near-death avatar is something else. Oh yeah, um, I haven't been mentioning this, but whenever I die, it actually shows the stats and the level name. I've been purposely neglecting to do that. By I get a press tab to show the stats to show the secrets and also time elapsed. You can do that, and you can do that as LP. I just haven't been doing that. Maybe I should be doing that, but that was just the cur is my own decision. I didn't really need to do that. Plus, since I was keeping my own secret counter tally, not to mention I could just count the sounds like yeah. I just didn't want to take away from the HUD, I guess. I think there's other games that keep a constant secret counter that I don't want to actually show up that way, so... Yeah. Maybe it ruins a surprise or something, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter because there's only one secret here anyway. You better find it. And I guess if there was a secret in the intro level, it'd be how to get to the nightmare level. Let's get in. Get ready to blow her up. Congratulations. Boom. Congratulations and well done. You have beaten the hideous Shub Nagulath and her hundreds of ugly changelings and monsters. You have proven that your skill and your cunning are greater than all the powers of Quake. You are the master now. Id Software salutes you. 
See, now I don't know if I'm Gowron or the fucking Crypt Keeper. Just go with it. Master. Master. Do 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 master. Do 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 do. And, uh, yeah, that's it. You can't continue from here. You can only go to the venue and do whatever you want now. That's it. That's the end of Quake. What will it be like in the future? Uh, future plans for Quake stuff? Yes. I do have plan. I, I think I mentioned this. I do have plans for Mission Pack 1 and 2. I can already see it being incredibly plausible. I'm going to save it for later when I've caught up with other stuff and combine it with more what's coming up next is Mario 64 material. The, that kind of stuff can go side by side. They're both 3D, released around the same year. So, you know, Quake mods with Mario 64 mods, I'm imagining to myself. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, great game. Um, Come back for more Quake content. I like to make that part and parcel, even though it's not going to be as ubiquitous as my Doom and Mario content. But, yeah. See you next time, whenever that is.